Okay, uh, because people have been asking about it, and while I do like explaining it, sometimes it gets complicated, um, I decided I'd make a video of my Mineral UV1 Polini kit that I quote unquote seized. Um, it says Polini, you can see it right there. That's my 18 millimeter intake. Opened it up a little bit, not a whole lot. Uh, kind of polished a little bit on the exhaust. However, um, I'd like you to see the bore. The only serious, serious like scuffing is right along here. You can see on that exhaust port there. But it's it's smooth to the touch along the inside of the bore. There's really not very much to talk about as far as like serious burn marks and scrape marks and shit like this I don't even think I'll even have to hone it it just looks bad it's just like right on the surface you know what I'm saying it's you can't really expect anything to grab on that I'll just camper these ports a little bit and we'll be done anyhow um, for having seized I think that's pretty damn good. Uh, anyhow, the piston, however, didn't fare so well. Um, and this is a confusing thing here. At first, she'll say, okay, damn, that's pretty bad seize. And then you're going to be like, wait a minute, how the hell did that seize? If you know anything about anything. Um, what happened was this little arrow is supposed to be facing the exhaust port, but I had it facing the intake because I'm a dumbass and got in a hurry to put the thing together and just slapped a piston on and didn't think about it. As you can see, there's no ports on the piston and it's pretty much symmetrical all the way around, except for that there's a little arrow that tells you this goes towards the exhaust. And then there's, you know, these little, where the rings come together here, it obviously is not supposed to face this way. Because what happens is the, the crown of the piston doesn't actually uncover this port, the intake port. It comes down just enough so that the exhaust opens and then the intake lets new air in, or new, a new charge in, in the upstroke. To my understanding um, this port is actually way down here you can see it looks like it comes in right here but it actually comes in and goes down so this never actually uncovers that it, it uncovers the exhaust port but then when it comes up it uncovers the intake and the intake goes in underneath in a crankcase because this is two stroke this is how two stroke works on the upstroke intake comes in on a downstroke, pushes intake up through the transfer ports, which are right here on the sides, and the exhaust goes out while the new charge is coming in from the transfer ports. So what happens is these little ring gaps here where the rings come together are supposed to be facing the intake because it's never going to cross the intake. And if it's never crossing a port, that one little spot where the rings come together never has a chance to catch on a port. But when you fuck it up and you put it towards the exhaust, comes down and it's going over that exhaust that little that little edge where those rings meet that little edge catches on your exhaust port shit happens there you go that's exactly what happened to me and the amazing thing is it ran pretty damn great in the meantime but here's the problem this is 46 millimeter bore I believe it's 42 millimeter stroke, so something like 40, 41 or 42 stroke. Either way, I bought a new ADCC uh, Minarelli piston. However, the Polini kit apparently comes in 75 and 80 cc's. I could be wrong. Um, 
the 47 millimeter is the only one I've been able to find does not fit in this cylinder the piston itself is too big it's not even it's not even the same size it's too big it's bigger than this it's a whole millimeter smaller this kit so I'm beginning to think this is not either of the two available Polini kits the big one or the small one this I guess is some older kit that I just managed to fuck up because I'm a complete dumbass but now I guess my only option would be to hope for another Minarelli Polini 46 millimeter piston somewhere or try and put new rings in this and I think it'll run probably not well I might lose compression but that's okay because I have a high compression head so a little less compression wouldn't hurt uh, there it is sitting all sad and lonesome over here in the corner that's my snark that's the one with the V1 with all the cool shit on it now I could even show you my head after running for oh hell I don't know maybe 40 miles I wiped it off but it's polished pretty good it has perfect that's a high comp head so yeah if I have a little less compression from you know fucking up my piston that'll be good because I'll actually be able to start it so uh, that's what happened if you want to read any more information on it uh, you can go to my WordPress it's uh, moped maxim dot wordpress dot com and it's got pictures and shit of not only this but a couple other of my bikes uh, it's linked to my Flickr account you can check out all the cool shit maybe even some videos of this here and this here and this here which I'm actually in the process of selling today this here which needs rebuilt and that that's a pain too but that's another story